Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to show you an interesting project that is face mask detection based door unlock. And this is nothing but the 5000 subscriber special. So now let's get started and let's have a load the demo. So this is the demo video you can see here, uh, no max and our door is right now locked. So how in actual are the max? See, our door is unlock, lock, unlock. So it is actually this kind of product that you can use on this situation because this is nothing but the coverage situation and you can make this kind of system to automate the door. How high an actual person is all the marks you can automate your door to come this person. That's when you are going to permit this person to come on my room. But high the person is not air marks, the door is locked. But high the person is actually all the marks and it will automatically open the door. So in this tutorial, we are going to make this one. So let's get started. So first thing first, I want to say one thing that is if you are new in my YouTube channel, so please do subscribe to my channel and must hit the bell icon. And in this tutorial, we're going to make a face mask detection based door lock automations. That's been automate door lock and lock. That's been hide a person actually iron marks, the door is automatically unlocked. And hide a person doesn't iron marks, that's been no marks, the door is automatically locked. So in this tutorial, we're going to make this one. So for this, we are going to use an existing project we built before. So just go on my YouTube channel and search for the face mask detection and you can find here this video. So please check this video till end, then you can easily understand what actually happening on this here. This uh, tutorial, you can uh, learn how can you classify the images. That means classify the person is our marks or not. So that's why you're going to use this one. And you can find here the code at the GitHub link in this video description. And I also put this uh, face mask detection using Python, Keras, OpenCV, and TensorFlow on this video description. So this is my official GitHub repository. You can see here, this is my Mishudo Chandu. This is my GitHub repository and GitHub name is Chandu0185. You can also follow me on GitHub. So you can also get the face mask detection uh, GitHub link on the face mask detection video description box. And also you can go on my go on Google and search for Chando0185 GitHub, then you can uh, find this. So just uh, check the repository, you can see a 30 sub repository here. So I'm going to search for the face marks. Okay, face marks. Okay, sorry, face marks. So yep, face marks detections. So this one, so this repository is actually we need to clone that. Okay, so just click on here, you can also uh, copy this link to using a git uh, clone okay you can see your a git if you're using git and git cln how can you actually uh, clone this repository but for this you can uh, actually download this zip file okay just click on here and it will automatically download uh, this file on your uh, local machines okay so in this case you can see here there's some uh, model file uh, some uh, python file we are going to uh, test it out here but before uh, you need to actually check it by before video call face mask relation then you can uh, jump on here because for time consumption, I'm not going to actually discuss about these things. So I created a folder called face mask detection based door lock automations, okay, or unlock door. So I'm going to click here to actually extract this file. We actually download this uh, zip file. That's when you actually clone this repository here. So you can just click here and extract here and it will extract it. Just go on here and you can see here some files, data collector and a hard cascade file and the uh, model training file. And also a test file so i'm going to open this on my visual studio code so please watch the tutorial uh, for the face mask duration then you can actually easily understand what actually happening on this code okay so just click on test code okay so now it's time to test it out that uh, our code is working fine or not okay save and run the code and uh, run python code in terminal okay uh, make sure that you install tensorflow carols open cb and so on and, and it will work on your cases so right now you can see here you my face correctly and say no marks. I not wire marks here. So that's you said no marks. That's now our code is working fine. Uh, let's say uh, use this one and you can see here marks. Sometimes it is not actually happening here. 
uh, miss mask it actually the problem is nothing but for your webcam and if you are using more clear webcam it will give you more uh, good accuracy okay it also work fine max and the no max work fine okay sometimes it's actually happening on this gear make sure you use a good webcam and it will work fine on guess okay so our code is working fine we actually uh, clone this repository on our official github repository okay so now we are going to actually uh, talk about how can we actually automate the door so that's why we're going to use arduino uno and we are using a servo motor and and using a, a door lock uh, what do you call it? it's calling hook okay so let's have a look how can you actually do that and how can you set up that and how can you actually connect the Arduino to our servo motor and then we are going to jump on our actual code so for this project you need an Arduino you know, and you need a servo motor and you need a door lock and also uh, any steel iron to connect the servo motor to the door lock and how you can see here how can I actually connect them okay so now we need to actually connect the servo motor to our Arduino you know. that's we need to give the power supply to the servo motor so that's why we're going to use the 5 volt on this Arduino. So now let's have a look how can it connect them. Okay. So first thing first, we need to actually uh, connect the pin to the output pin of the servo motor. So for this, we are going to use a pin number called 10. You can also use uh, 12, 11, 13, whatever. Okay. So the pin number is here. This is nothing but the 8. And this is nothing but the 9. And this is nothing but the 10. Okay. This 10. I'm going to connect it here. 10 number pin so this is nothing but our output pin and we are going to connect them on our servo motor so we need three wire okay so this is the yellow one and we are going to connect them here okay this one connected so now we need to actually uh, give a power supply on our servo motor so for the power supply you're going to use 5 volt so this is the nothing but the 5 volt so uin ground to ground in the 5 volt yep and again we need to actually set up the ground also and this is the ground this one ground and we need to actually connect them this is nothing but a 5 volt so for the 5 volt this is nothing but the red one and i am using the micro servo motor and the version name is nothing but as z90 and also connect it here okay so our servo motor is connected each other now we can uh, uh, give a power supply to our uh, computer okay so in our pin number is nothing but the 10 we give the power supply the 5 volt and also uh, the count okay so now this we need to make a controller to control these arduino id using our python so just click on here and create new python file called controller.py so for this we need to install a library called pyfinmata so just open your command prompt here and type here pip install pyfinmata sorry filmata this one enter and it will automatically install this library on your system you can see a requirement already satisfied that means this library is already installed in my system so i'm going to click here to close that so now i am going to actually import the pyfinmata so from py I'm going to import first one the Arduino and another one is the servo. Why servo? We actually use the servo motor here. And the port number is nothing but COM5 in my case. So, how can we actually connect your Arduino board? And you can see here and port number. Okay, I will show you show you later uh, what the port number is here. And how you actually open the Arduino and you can see here uh, the port number here. So now we need to actually initialize the board here. So our board is nothing but our Arduino board. So board equal to let's say Arduino dot. Okay, sorry, not dot port number. So now we set the Arduino. Okay, that's when our port is this COM5 port is nothing but the port of the Arduino. Now we need to actually set the output pin of the servo. Okay, sorry, we need to actually not import it here. Okay, so let's port the pin number. Let's say 10. Why 10? Because in before, when you actually uh, do the circuit uh, diagram, then we can uh, set the pin number, that's been output pin as a 10. Okay, so now we need to set this pin as a digital format, digital, and the pin and the mode is nothing but the servo. Okay, servo. That's been our pin number uh, 10 mode is nothing but servo. 
and it will rotate the servo motor. So now we need to define a function to rotate the servo. So rotate servo. And to take the parameter called pin and the angle of the rotations. So angle. So you're going to set the pin, digital pin, and you're going to write on the pin with using our angle. Yeah, angle. Okay. So our rotate servo function is done. So now we need to check that uh, if the person is IR max or not. So if the person is IR max, that's mean our door is locked. So now we need to go on the task.po file and check it out here. So our class number zero is nothing but the max. The class number one is nothing but the no max. So when the class number is zero, then we set the max. Okay, so just go down. You can see your class index is nothing but zero. So we are going to call define a function to actually get the value from here. So let's say define a function to actually controlling this task.po file to the controller.po file. So let's say door sorry or to mid. And it will take a value. And let's say initially we uh, put here the pass. So now we are going to actually uh, import this uh, file from our controller. So from controller, controller, we are going to import door automate. Okay. So now we need to pass the value from here. I a person, that's my class index is zero. That's when the person is IR max. So let's say door automate and we are passing the value as zero. Why zero? Because how you actually get the value from this task.po file to the controller.po and we can do some actions. That's when we are going to rotate our servo motor. And you need to also do the same thing for the here, door automate, we need to put here one. So one is nothing but no max and zero is nothing but the max. So now, now we need to actually get this value from here. So see, if the value is equal equal zero, that means we are going to say that the person is actually our max. Okay, our max. So let's say pass here by default. And if the value is nothing but one, then we say no max. So now we need to actually rotate the servo motor using this value. So now talk about the angle on the servo motor. Basically, servo motor, the angle is not perfect. Okay, I pass the uh, actual value for this one uh, is nothing but 180, 180 degree and this one is nothing but 40 degree. So let's uh, go on the paint and I, I actually explain what I'm actually talking about. Okay, see, this is nothing but our 90 degree angle. This is nothing but our 90 degree angle and this is nothing but our 180, okay, this one 180. Okay, so this is nothing but our servo motor, and this is nothing but our uh, fan like that. So we need to rotate this servo motor. So let's say this is nothing but our uh, door lock. Okay, and not so good in artist. This is nothing but our door lock, and this is nothing but our servo motor. This one. Okay, this one like some motor. We are going to connect this using our steel iron like that. So this time our uh, this is nothing but our lock. This one, okay. Okay, let's let's use it. Uh, okay, this to this one and use this one. This to one. Okay, so this is nothing but our lock right now. So right now it's our lock. That's mean this is person is actually our the max. Okay, but how the person is not actually our the max. So this time this servo motor it actually, what it you know, the servo motor actually changed the angle like that. This type of angle. See this type of angle. Okay, now this times this is the door lock. This is our lock. This is our servo motor. And this is the angle. 
so this time it will actually go on through this position to the position of the lock and the lock will go and unlock this this type okay, lock. so this time it is no marks that means this time angle is nothing but 90 degree okay but in servo motor the actual angle is not correct so for this you need to actually do some uh, in uh, do some analysis on the servo motor what's the actual angle it's actually using the servo motor okay so for this i'm going to use this uh, angle called 180 and the 40 this angle actually i'm going to use okay this angle i'm going to use and difference is nothing but 140 that's mean this difference of my in my case is nothing but 140 and i am actually using servo motor as the 19 and if you are using higher version of the servo motor and i think it will get the uh, correct angle for that but in my servo motor it's very cheapest so that's why my angle is not correct and i found that the value of 180 and the 40 at the correct value so that's why i am actually going to use this one okay so let's use this one let's say rotate servo and using the pin and also angle is nothing but 180 and the rotated servo and the pin and is nothing but 40 actually found this angle to actually make this one okay so our code is done so now we need to actually go uh, and connect the arduino board and go on our arduino id and actually uh, load the pi field matter so now i am going to connect my arduino uno here so our arduino uno is connected and you can see arduino uno on com5 this is nothing but a port number so i'm going to go here and click on the files and go for the examples and search for the five field matter and search for the standard field matter okay this one the standard field matter and just click on here to upload the code and you can see here compiling this case and it will take few seconds to actually upload the code for the standard field matter and you can see here uploading here and you can see here right now done uploading so now it's time to actually test it out it actually works fine or not so now it's time to test it out that our program it actually work or not so i'm going to click here to run the file here and i'm also open my droid cam here so right now you can see here no marks and our door is right now locked you can see here find actually the marks so our door is nothing but unlock again so no marks this time it will lock okay again lock again marks yeah, unlock. It worked fine. Worked fine, man. So this is the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the like button for never miss any update.